Hello everyone, I'm Nathan Rich. The situation in Hong Kong has reached a horrifying new level of brutality. Maybe, just maybe, we might approach other countries from the point of just the way it is. Or at least that's the way I see it. The world. If America's emissions don't go down, the world will be over soon. 10 years, 12 years, 20 years. Some smaller government over the arguably... The rioters also had petrol bombs, which they used to try to burn police with. As far as I know, the guy who got burned was just an average Hong Kong citizen who was trying to stop protesters from destroying a subway. Um, and later he was trying to defuse the situation, and they set him on fire in broad daylight. And since then, I've had people contact me on email and other messages saying that they're afraid um, and, you know, that they're afraid for their lives, afraid for their safety in Hong Kong. They want help from me. The reason that I stayed in China was I was overwhelmed by the difference between how China really was and how I thought it was going to be. Every time that I went back to America from China, I discovered that a lot of my friends seemed to have these weird misconceptions about China and were telling me how China was, even though they had never been there. And so I started to build up this sort of sense of annoyance with people not understanding China and misrepresenting it. And, you know, I used to read in the news or watch these videos about China, and none of them seemed exactly right compared to the experiences that I actually had in China. And so, um, you know, there was something building up inside of me where I was getting sick of the way that people were misrepresenting China. Hong Kong doesn't stand on its own. It's got an entire family of people by its side. And while not everyone in the family agrees with each other, make no mistake, blood is thicker than water. I may never be considered part of China, but Hong Kong always will.